Hey there guys, I'm Resident Evil Knievel and I welcome you back to more of Let's Play The Darkness. Now on last time's episode I was trying to actually get into that room down there but I was running around like a mad chicken figuring out how the hell to do that. Well I figured it out once I actually hit the stop recording button, I actually figured out how the hell to get into this room. Now I had to actually go through all those enemies once again because, I don't know, the save function just saved right, you know, before all of that other business that I've done before. But there is the money now, so I was trying to get into it. I was wondering how to get into there. Well, if you summon your darkness, which you'll have to use to, in order to open this door. So you see down there, if you see down there, those, whatever they are, they're like worms coming out of the ground. But that portal there, actually, you, you can use the power. I think it's maybe a berserker. It actually opens the door for me from the inside. So let's do that now, shall we? Mr. Berserker. Open the door, please. Oh, thanks. See, that's what was, that was what I was running around as a mad chicken for. Now that we got the gasoline, we can we can actually burn this shitty money up. Oh, it feels so good just to burn all this blood money. And what a way to actually light up the money with a gun. All right, so I'm guessing we have to get the fuck out of here now. Yes, or maybe not. Maybe it's not going to explode after all. Since these men are going to have a good time, let's just devour them. Because we shouldn't leave the room without devouring all of the victims. All of the arseholes anyway. So that's done. There's a new objective added. So Paulie should be hurting pretty bad now. That you've taken out the Grinders Lane operation. Go see if Jenny and Jimmy are still at Fulton Station. By the orphanage exit. Maybe Jimmy knows more ways to cause poorly pain. How about a shot up the arse or something, you know? Possibly. Possibly not. So, we've got to go back to Grinders Lane in order to... Not Grinders Lane. The orphanage. Fulton Station, that's right. So, I'm supposing there's a back door around there. I have to get rid of these men around this area as well. Could have been saved the last time, but anyway... Should be all good now, once we've got that uh, that blood money destroyed. It's a bit strange, my darkness powers seem to, seem to keep on you know retracting and coming back alive. Don't worry, that's just the guy who likes to stand under the light. The hell? He's getting scared from me. You know me, what's wrong with you? Anyway, not to worry. So, we return to Fult Fulton Street, not Fulton. This subway station. My Uncle Paulie brought me down here on vacation one time. Count the trains. How sad. Best two days me and him ever spent together. Wow, you sure didn't live, did you? The best two days of his life with his uncle was, you know, counting the trains. With Uncle Paulie. Now he's gonna shoot the shit out of him. Because he's had enough of him and he wants to destroy him. Because technically this guy is an arsehole. But anyways, actually have a look if we've got any more phone numbers. All we have, we've got one. Collectible phone number 11. Let's see if this guy is, this anybody's hilarious. I wonder who it is. Hello? Hello? I'm guessing he's French. Je m'appelle, my name is uh, Emra. Alright, oh, okay. Oh, he's gonna blow our popsicle, uh, is he? I suspect you're gay. Au revoir, I don't wanna see you anymore. So, we just talked to a gay Frenchman. Very scary conversations, may I add. Damn, that just gave me a shiver down my throat. Or rather, you know, down my neck. Right. So I'm guessing these people in the subway don't like me watching them. Anyway, we're at Fulton Street right now, so I'm guessing Jimmy and um, Jenny, they're somewhere down here. Oh no, we don't want to talk to that crazy lady. That crazy lady wants us to go onto the train tracks. Oh, there's something down there. Let's just check. No, nope, the coast is clear. Let's collect this. Alright, so there's a payphone around here. Might as well go, you know, call it before we go to visit 
Jimmy and Jenny. Though where? Oh, here's a payphone. That's all right. Number ten. All right, private investigator. We can investigate Paulie's ass now. So what about mafia bosses? Do you have experience in mafia bosses, may I add? Because I really need people that are experienced with mafias. Particularly some fat fuck called Uncle Paulie. Anyway, that was the least most funny phone call I've ever seen or heard. But yeah, we're at Fulton Station now. Where did... Oh, where is... Oh, they're up here. Sorry, man. I'm just losing my plot here. Are they here? I'm looking for Jim... Jenny and Sarah. I was about to say Jemmy. That's a cross between Jimmy and um, Sarah. Jenny. Oh, why am I saying um, Sarah? Oh, wow. I thought it was a retarded old person or something. I thought Eddie Schroet was dead. I'm gonna tell you something. I swear to God, Paulie and Schroet gonna die for this more than once. Strange. I really thought Eddie Schroet was dead. Like we chased him last time, wasn't we? Or am I mixing up someone else with someone else? Anyway. Our lovely Jenny's in a dilemma now. We have to go and find her and try and, you know, revive her and rescue her. Where somebody you care about is. Paulie can have my possessions, my life, anything I own. Anything except you. Anything! Oh, he's so kind. He's going to protect us. Anything except you. No, you can't have you. I'm presuming it means Jenny, you know, because Jenny just means the love of his life. He wouldn't meet anyone else otherwise, you know. <laughs> Who goes there? Oh, someone's definitely around here. Oh, God. Alright. Gonna eat the shit out of you. Ah, fall on the floor. Good. I come to nibble on your hearts. Good if I didn't say nibble on your crotch. I sound gay right there. Oh, this one's wearing a cap. Why can't we steal his cap? I'm sure Jackie needs a cap to wear, you know. He wants to look secluded, he doesn't want people seeing his face. Maybe they're actually quite cool if we can drive these cars, because these cars will... Oh, God! Ah, get out of the way! Oh, my God, why do I crouch at the most inappropriate moment ever? Right, I didn't see you there. I thought that was you. No, it's a dustbin bag. Where is he? Hello? My, someone here. I just can't fucking see them. Alright, let's just retract now. We're going to actually search the area with our guns. Alright, shotgun time. There is he. There's that fucker there. Alright, we're good to go now. So he ran all the way from one end to the other end. Come on. Ah. Oh. You can retract once you have bitten the shit out of him, alright? Now he's running over... Damn it, I'm just going to sort you out with face-to-face -face combat. Or rather, gun... Gun to fucking... Oh my god, how did I get him there? I wasn't even aiming for him there and I actually caught him. That was pretty cool, actually. I really got to say... Got to stop saying actually now. Because I say actually and you know... On a far more regular basis than I thought. I gotta extend my vocabulary to the infinity beyond. Oh, that's the St. Mary's Orphanage. Oh, yeah, now it's coming back to me now. Yes, this is actually, shall I say, it's medium tedious levelness, but you know, it's not too hard. Alright. This is the St. Mary's Orphanage. Jimmy said Paulie and Schroet took Jenny here. They must be inside somewhere, so let's have a look. So, Schroet's alive after all. I thought he was dead. 
Okay, so this is where Jackie and Jenny both grew up, if I'm correct. Because Jackie and Jenny, aren't they both orphans? Like, neither one of them have parents, which is sad. I mean, you know, in a real way. It is sad. Remembering something, Jackie. Uh, no. What am I remembering? My god, am I hallucinating? Wow, this actually reminds me of scenes from Harry Potter for some reason. Strange. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah. Typical orphanage, you know. It's a built-in environment, you know, where... They try to, you know, teach kids religion. Which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. 